Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Electrical Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to discuss a few items that I've added to the Electrical Plugin in recent updates. So, first of all, let's get started here, and I'm going to show you that I've actually rearranged these uh, toolbars. So, there's two toolbars <clears throat> for the Electrical Plugin the primary toolbar and what I call the secondary toolbar. Um, as you can see, the number of icons actually has remained the same on the primary toolbar, except that I've moved the safety devices onto the secondary toolbar. And so the item that I've added onto the primary toolbar is this one right here. So this is the regen tool. Um, previously we just had the edit and the delete tool for deleting electrical fixtures or <coughs> elements, but um, uh, by a customer request, I've added in the regen tool. So we're going to go ahead and eventually uh, demonstrate that. But first, before we do that, I'm going to hop into the global settings, and also I'm going to put these toolbars back. Okay, so let's jump into the global settings here, this uh, little icon here with the three slider bars. Okay, so <clears throat> the recent updates I've made are all here in the general tab of the global settings. And as you can see, I've actually kind of rearranged uh, things a little bit here, moved things around. So the annotation formatting section is now on this side rather than down here. And the construction dimensions and performance is here in the center instead of on the right-hand side. <clears throat> and the reason why I moved all that around is just because it tends to fit a little better since I've added some more parameters to the annotation formatting section. <clears throat> so the three items that I've added to the annotation formatting are these three uh, right here. Uh, I'm trying to select them, but that doesn't seem to work. Okay, there we go. Uh, these three parameters. <clears throat> so the first one is resolution, then we have circle segments, and then we have symbol text scale. So let's go through each one of these real quickly, explain what they are, what they mean. Um, <clears throat> so basically the resolution parameter, and you've got a little uh, pop-up here that you can give you a little information. Uh, basically determines how smoothly, um, let's just slide this over and flip this wall around. I've created a few electrical components here. So it basically determines how smoothly um, these, uh, sorry, the text is um, drawn. And you can see here with this um, <clears throat> superscript of the uh, these symbols, that it's, it's not that smooth, right? It's rather blocky looking. And that's because we have it set to a 0.5 setting. And so we can adjust that. Uh, the smoothest setting, of course, will be if you set that to a zero. And then um, let's go ahead and do that right now, actually. So let's go ahead and set that to zero. And I'm going to hit Save Settings. And go ahead and close that out. So now, um, if I regen this, uh, or any of these, um, we should see that these get smoothed out. So. Like I said, previously, the only way to regen any of these elements was to basically hit this edit electrical key and then edit the element and then hit the update, okay? And that would, of course, regen it. And if we do that, you'll see now that that's quite a bit smoother, right, than what it was previously. So <clears throat> the problem with that, of course, is you have to hit click this and then you got to click the update. And so it's basically two mouse clicks and you got to go back in to this one, you know, click this one, hit update just takes a lot of time and so that was the uh, reasoning behind adding this uh, regen key. So with the regen key, if you watch, I'm going to go ahead and just click this and now as I mouse over each of these elements, uh, it highlights them and all I have to do is click them, right? So we've gone ahead, and let's see, did we click that one? I think we did. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, let's just click here. Okay, see we just one click and um, sometimes it's hard to get the, uh, <coughs> of course this one's all linear, so it probably won't make much difference. Um, yeah, it didn't. Okay, so as you can see, <coughs> with one click, with the regen tool, we can just go around the model and click on each element. And like I said, it's a little easier if you actually mouse over the solid objects rather than the symbols, because sometimes it's hard to get the selection on the symbol because it's just sim single line elements. So so yeah, the regen is a very, uh, very simple tool, very easy to use, and I think it will speed things up, especially if you're making global changes to your any of your uh, electrical symbols and stuff. Okay, so let's go in and let's look at the next one. Okay, so that was the resolution. Circle segments. Okay, so circle segments is the 
as you can see with these uh, electrical symbols, especially the outlets, you know, they're circular and the switches are circular in nature. And the number of segments may or may not be too uh, blocky for you, depending on what you want to do. I think the default is 16, if I remember right. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit so we can see these things. And then I'm just going to hit this refresh again, or regen, sorry. And notice how when I did that, um, and it's not very dramatic. Let's 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 set this like say to 12. You'll really see a difference here. Okay. <clears throat> so like I said, I think the default is actually 16, but you can set this to you know any value you pretty much like. Um, yeah. So now you can see. <clears throat> I guess the advantage um, to setting it lower is that you know less less lines, less segments, uh, you know makes the model lighter. But uh, of course, the downside is it doesn't appear quite as nice. So again, that is a <coughs> setting that you may want to adjust, especially if you want to have good, um, you know, a nice clean appearance on your drawing sets or your PDFs as you bring them into layout or however you decide to uh, create those construction drawings. So. Anyways, that's pretty much that parameter. Now let's go ahead and talk about the symbol text scale. So as it says here in the little um, uh, tools, uh, <clears throat> toolbox, or not toolbox, uh, tooltip, um, basically what this does is it allows you to scale the superscript on some of these um, symbols. So not all symbols have superscripts like, you know, where it says GFCI or P or some other, but a lot of them actually do. And I think I've actually got this set to two. So normally speaking, they're going to be set to one by default, right? So let's try that real quick. Let's re regen these here back to the default values. So as you can see in the default setting, um, the superscript is rather small. <coughs> now, generally speaking, I, I don't know, I think, that's generally how I've always seen them, kind of one of the plans. You know, you want to keep that superscript kind of small, um, not to overwhelm the, the symbol itself. But the problem being with that, of course, is, is you know, when you go ahead and make your drawings and layout or, or wherever, um, you might end up finding that these, it, it's not legible. It's a little too small. So that, that is the reasoning behind uh, changing this up a little bit. And so what this does is it doesn't, scale the symbol it just scales the um, symbol relative to the scaling of or it scales the superscript of the symbol relative to the symbol itself so as you know you can set the um, symbol size right here like for instance if i set this to 14 it's going to make those symbols bigger but the relative scaling will remain the same if you leave it at one but now I could make them even bigger. Let's go say, uh, let's try 1.5. Just see what that looks like. Okay. And of course you can go down too. You can go like 0 0.5, 0 0.7. So let's go ahead with that setting. So what that should do is that should make the symbol itself larger, but also will make this text larger relative to this text or the symbol itself. So let's go ahead and regen that. And as you can see, uh, quite a bit larger. So that gives you a little more flexibility in, you know, in preparing construction documents and making sure that these symbols and these superscripts are all legible. And so it gives you the ability to really fine tune it, you know, uh, get it to where you need it to be. So again, just to recap real quick, um, it's under the annotation formatting. You've got three new parameters here, resolution, circle segments, symbol text scale, and those uh, parameters should allow you to further refine uh, the 2D symbols and how they appear in your in your construction documents and in layout. And then once again, um, we have this new tool called the Regen tool. Click it, and then just go ahead and three model. Go ahead and click each one, and it will update and apply any updated uh, global settings. All right, if you have any questions about these new features or any features in general with Electrical Plugin, uh, go ahead, give me an email, uh, call me if you like. Um, I'm always here and I'm always appreciating you guys' feedback and your support. So thank you very much.